Hello and welcome to Zylonka, this is episode 7 and we're going to start off by looking at our chickens and ducks so we know that we've got quite a few male ducklings and male chickens that we need to separate out so that we can do something with them either fatten them up and sell them or just need to we need to work out some sort of strategy from them and I thought that I would put a separate pen for them around about here somewhere so let's see where we can get that's all into animals chickens and So be one of these first two. So and it takes thirty, that takes hundred and fifty. That's uh yeah, in keeping with the way they have been born in the free range situation, free range pens. So let's get that going. And we want to well, I think about there is good enough. That's about right, I think. Keep it just slightly off the road. Fantastic. Let's see if we can get rid of that. I'm not sure where it is. There it is there. Right, so the first thing we're gonna do is put in some let's put in some food. We've got the uh got the pen ready and then we've got to find a way we've got to I did speak to the to the store just asking them um to have a look around for something that I can transport chickens in. Or move chickens with, should I say? Um, they have come up with a solution, so we will pop down to the store once we've got this sorted out. We'll just put a little bit of, put about a between five hundred and a thousand liters worth of uh, of wheat into the new pen, just to keep them nice and fed there'll be quite a few coming in there so we'll have we'll hopefully be able to mix the ducks and the and the chickens together and they won't they should be okay right so let's just hook that up and go and we've got i think we've got about four and a half thousand liters worth of wheat in the oops it's a too close. Yeah. So Start with wheat. That's about enough. Eight hundred and seventy liters. this off here. I think we've still got enough food in the in the other pens for now. Right, so that's ready for them. Now I've just got to find a way of getting them in there. Right, so let's they did say bring a van down or a open trailer so we'll we'll go and use our, our truck give it a bit of a clean first it's looking a bit shabby and then we'll head on down to the to the store and go and see what they've got for us
I did say it's probably a solution that I wasn't thinking of. Of course, I was thinking about getting some sort of stock trader to take them out. So it'd be interesting to see what they've what they've got for me. Let's just get this clean so it needs to wash it sometime in any of it. I don't think it's had a wash since we've been here. bit battered and bruised but it still moves I all of a sudden think I'm, on, I'm thinking of moves like Jagger <laughs> uh, I don't think it moves like Jagger I think it moves like a ballistic missile <laughs> got a bit of pace about it Whack it down here and see. There you go. Yeah, 52 miles an hour. Not too bad. Set to slow down there. <laughs> Take that corner. Oh dear. Just take a bit of abuse this way. <laughs> right. It's get out and see what they've got for me just go in and have a chat to them quickly Right, so what they're telling me is that they have crates that we can put the chickens into. Reasonably inexpensive. And there they are there, chicken transport crate. They do have this, um, which is a horse-drawn trailer and can take about 160 um, chickens. But I mean, we don't have to move 160. We can do we can do a couple of trips in the in the crate. The crate only takes eight uh, chickens at a time. Um, but yeah, so a little bit of extra work, but much cheaper. So I think I'm going to I think I can get three of those. Let's say I should be able to get three on the back of the van. So let's have a look and see. I guess it costs five hundred. Buy that. Buy another one. And we'll buy another one. That gives us three. Let's have a quick look look at it. They did say it's pretty light. It said it's capable of handling it by hand. Yeah, it's only fifty kgs. And the chickens certainly the chicks will weigh next to nothing, so it's not going to be a problem. So let's go and see if we see if they're right. See if we can get three of them onto our onto our van. Right. Let's just get it there with the. Back down. Yeah, so it's easy enough to pick up. It's that way. Get right to the back. Oh, what have I done? Why do I keep pressing A? <laughs> keep pressing A because it's normally for 
being in action. Of course, when you're picking things up, B is the key for. there and it's going to be touch and go whether we can get three in there but i think we will i think we will if not we'll have to just leave the tailgate down yeah no problem with that right so let's get back to the farm now them in. Yeah, they did say that we would have to take them off the back of the van to load them. So hopefully that will work out. I think what I'll do is I'll, I'll, I'll unload them first and then let's do the chickens first, get them in there. Hoping this will work. And strip those. Right. Animal dialogue. Do we want uh, the male chickens? Male chicks, right? So we'll select those. So we only have eight of those, so that's fine. They should all fit in. Move that to the um, yes. A, a yes. Oh, there they are. Eat chickens. Just put that there now. We'll come and pick those up a bit later. Just go down and pick up the male ducklings. Don't know how many they are. I thought there were more uh, male chickens, to be honest. Let's just jump out. Oh, we in the dialogue box, dial them up. Uh, duckling females, they can stay there. Duckling female, that's the grown one. Duckling males, so that's the one we need to send over, take over. That is um, select those. Oh, there might be more chickens. Because of course there's only eight in there if we can put in, so... <laughs> oh dear, we haven't done this right. 
I thought they were only eight there, but of course it's the the container that's full, not the maximum that are there. So the arm is probably more. So we'll just move those to the trailer. Put those to one side. Eight little ducklings. Oops. Duckling whales, we select that. Another eight there, so there's probably still more to come from there. That's not a problem. We'll uh, we just have to. We knew we were going, we were going to have to most probably make more than one trip. Just kind of forgot about it while I was excited that the whole thing worked. Um, move to trailer. Yes, yes. Let's get those on. Oops. Get the other lot on. And we're going to pick up the chickens. At least we're going to find out whether the whether ducks and chickens can go in the same pen. You should be able to. Out and pick up that crate of chickens. Come acquainted, acquainted on the way. A very short trip, of course, to the um, to the duckling or to the young ones pen. Golden chicks. Go. I don't think we'll put the tailgate up. But just I don't know why the why my controller is not. Sometimes struggling to register me getting into the van. Probably just a bit of conflict. Doubt whether this will pick it up. Be driving through. I don't think so. Just swing around. Sure, which side the uh, which side the dialog box is? Soon find out. It is there. Select those. Select 
that X Right that right, good yeah they do come up separately I thought maybe they will have uh, they would change them all to chicks or all to ducks or something like that no, that's what that, okay these in job let's go and fin finish off the rest let's keep going until, until we find that uh, we don't have full loads and we know we've got them all out we'll separate it out gives the Action pins you want to call it or female pins more room to operate space wasn't an issue yet but it would have come a time when we needed to get this sorted so Don't finish off the ducklings first, so we know that's done. And then we'll come back and do the rest of the chickens. Chicken males, a select. There's only two left. Yep, two left. Yep, get them back on there. Find a place to keep these pellets. Then we've done our chickens. Chickens are done.
Right. On that. Let's have a look and see. Let's have a look and see what we've got in there now. We've got free range chickens. So there we've got 26. 26 male chicks, chicken chicks, and 20 ducklings. Got 800 odd liters of food in there. That's looking good. Well, we, we might need to just put a bit of food in to each of the others. They are starting to get a little bit low. But we'll do that just to finish off the the um, the work on the chickens is what I was going to say there <laughs> I think we'll just leave the, these on the back of the van for now we don't seem to be using the van for a lot of other things it's pretty light to drive around with if we didn't need to we can move them out just leave that on the back of the van for now. Right here. Let's get some more feed into the to the chickens and the ducklings. Oh the chickens and the ducks. Ducklings and Chicks have got plenty of food at the moment. So I'm going to do it separately just so that I know more or less what I'm putting into each just over a thousand eleven hundred liters going into the chickens a while. That full? Why have we got? I oh, know. <laughs> I was fooled by this bush. I thought that it it uh, it had um, dumped the food on the ground, the wheat on the ground. But I think it was that bush that momentarily fooled me. Put just a little bit less than a thousand into the duct because they had a bit more. I think they still had about 300 and something meters left in theirs. And that's quite okay, I think. Feeding this way is never an exact science. Here comes some more food ducks. It's 
that all done? We can go park off this trailer now. But the next job is to go and have a look at the um, the cars just to check up on their water situation and such like. We know that their, their capacity for water is quite it's quite low really for the size of the pen. So we do need to just keep our eye, eye open on that. Not very level there we are just drop that off. So we'll get into the stock tractor and just need to switch that off. And we'll go and check out see how much water needs if 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 any. Or we'll top up in any event. We have to top up two, three times a day. We always have to make sure that when we go to sleep that it's that the water is full, so just one of those chores that need to be done. Oh, we did buy some more sheep by the way. We have We now have, let's, get, let's, let's just get back to the sheep and show you those. So we have a further 11 sheep. That's it. Looking good. Should get a bit more. Sheep's milk from there. Right, so let's just have a look. So we've got enough feed there. We've got enough water, it's just over. Oh, of course I did. While I was doing the the harvesting I did I did do a little bit of work on that. That's that done. It's all looking fine. Now I think next job actually we should have just done that while we had the trail on is we've got some canola to be sold. November is the best Price for canola sales. So let's get that. Let's get that done. Then we should be just about up to date on our work for today. more than a full load of this track there. I think we had 14,000 litres of canola. It's all 12,000. Well, I don't know. I think it depends on where we have to supply it to. Right. Stop filling. All the oats. Canola, 14,000, yeah. While well, that's filling, let's have a look and see where we can sell it to. Canola, train station, 2.5, but that means we have to hire a train, 400 extra. I 
I think it looks like a train station. Yep. So we can. I'm sure we could actually put this into the silo, then come back and fetch the other 2,000 liters. Right, it's off to the station we go. Of course, we've been to the station before because I think it was in the very first episode. Because we uh, we drove straight past it, if you remember correctly. <laughs> we ended up at the um, at the loading the train loading for the sawmill. So yeah, it wasn't great. In any case, it's not a major problem. We will head up to the station now, and we'll see you once we get there. Right, so we're at the train station. Just busy offloading. What I'll do is just offload this, and then I'll nut back to the farm, and then bring up the other 2,000 liters. Once I've done that, we'll get back to you here at the station and we'll go through the whole calling the train again loading the train and getting it sold see you in a little while right back with me just about up at the station again for the second time but the it's over 2,000 litres of canola put that into the storage unit here Storage silo, should I say? And then we'll go and summon the tree. Right, I'm going to put the directive markers on that just so that I know exactly where we are. To summon the train that's not very clearly marked if the Zone markers are not on. It's not like there's a shed or anything next to them, it's just kind of stuck in the middle of the, the of the pathway more. Like, I was gonna say middle of the road, but it's almost the middle of the road. Uh, it summons the train. Uh, it's just a question of waiting for the train and then loading it up. is away so it's a little bit of a wait it says it's arriving soon but dum de dum 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 come on train come on train we need you ah here's the train just about looking for a place to go and have a little bit of a snooze. Fantastic. Right, let's drive forward slowly until we can load up. eye on the top right until it says it's about the second largest carriage if you look at the Right. 
Well, it looks like we fought really quickly. I was trying to refill it again. <laughs> right, let's get this off to Leningrad. Go for a nice little drive along the train route again. Give us a nice little overview of the countryside. Through the sawmill area. Lovely, lovely, lovely. So I'm not sure how much work there's going to be to do in the winter time, so here we go. Yes, and we got 35,000. Cost us about 80 odd euros, so worthwhile. Worthwhile. Right, so we're up to 76,000. Nice little day's work. We have to think of what we can do with the the money let me just switch off the interactive zone markers we don't need those anymore so we've sorted out our chickens let's just trot along up to the to the young uns and i think that's where we'll end them end off the episode checking out the Young stock lost in the length of the grass. Fantastic. Beautiful. Right, that's where we're going to end this episode. As I said, thank you so much for watching. If you've enjoyed it, please like and subscribe. And we'll catch you in the next one. Cheerio!